The rap industry suffered another loss as another rapper's life was taken away from us. While many of the rappers who have lost their lives were relatively new to the game, rapper Takeoff has been in the rap game since he was a teenager in 2008. Sadly, at 28 years old, the rapper's life was cut short. Takeoff passes away. In the early hours of November 1st, 2022, Migos rapper Takeoff was hit after an altercation broke out at a place he was at. According to reports, several calls were placed to the Houston Police Department to report discharge at a bowling alley located at 810 Billiards in Bowling, where a private Halloween party was being hosted. Before full details of what really went down hit the media, the Houston Police Department shared a tweet saying, Downtown officers are on a at 1200 Polk. One victim was found deceased upon arrival. Pound U News, CC9. On getting to the scene, the Houston Police Department Lieutenant Christina Salazar reported that 40 to 50 people were at 810 Billiards in Bowling, Houston. When the were discharged. They further shared that two people were wounded in the tragic incident and were rushed to nearby hospitals in private vehicles, while one man lost his life in the tragic incident. The Houston Police Department further revealed that they were waiting on a local medical examiner to make a formal confirmation and to also notify the family of the deceased before revealing the identity of the man who had passed away in the tragic incident. A tweet to their official Twitter account read, Update. Two other victims taken in private vehicles to hospitals. Media partners. We are not releasing the identity of the deceased victim victim until his family is notified and ID is verified by the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences. Any updates on the incident will be posted here. Although the police refused to release the identity of the man who lost his life in the incident, people who were present at the scene spread the news on social media as they revealed that Takeoff was the man who lost his life. Takeoff, whose real name is Kershnick Kari Ball, was pronounced to have passed on at the scene. Drew Finling, a lawyer for Takeoff and confidant to many rap stars, called the news of his passing a devastating loss, particularly for Atlanta. When you're around Takeoff, there's a sense of peacefulness about his aura, Mr. Finling said. He listens to you. He looks at you. He's more focused on what you have to say than what he has to say. The world was starting to learn about Takeoff. It was his time to shine. An interview with Fader a couple of years back revealed that Takeoff was the backbone of the Migos group, as his rap obsession had brought him and his uncle, Quavo, alongside their cousin, Offset, to take on their successful rap careers, before becoming one of the biggest rap acts of the last decade, and ushering in a new period of dominance for Atlanta music in the streaming era. Migos was founded as a family bedroom act northeast of the city, in Gwinnett County, which Migos came to brand as the North Side. In his lifetime, Takeoff did all he could to avoid getting into celebrity scandals. Despite being a popular rapper, he lived a very quiet and calm life. Quavo reveals the truth about Takeoff's passing. What started off as a great night for unconfused rappers, Quavo and Takeoff, became the most tragic night of their lives. While Quavo shared a video of himself hanging out with friends and going to celebrate a birthday, Takeoff shared a simple photo of himself giving kudos to Rick Owens. Sadly, that was the last photo he made to his Instagram before tragedy struck. The demise of Takeoff left a lot of people asking what happened and how it even happened. Before the police released any statements on the tragic incident, witnesses had already begun sharing their stories alongside videos that showed Takeoff off lying on the ground on social media. Many of these witnesses revealed what truly led to the incident that took Takeoff's life, according to the reports that hit the media. They were playing a game of dice at the private Halloween party when the altercation broke out. Apparently, Quavo was the one playing the game, while Takeoff just stood by and watched what was happening. He wasn't playing, but Quavo, who was in the game, was losing badly, according to witnesses at the scene. Quavo got aggressive because he was losing, and he began to make trouble with his opponents. A member of Quavo's squad opened and fire at the people they were rolling dice with. Chaos ensued, and it wasn't until Takeoff's body dropped to the ground that they realized that he was hit. Footage obtained from the scene showed rapper Quavo in an orange shirt and others gathered around Takeoff. At first, they tried to move him, but then put him back down, and Quavo yelled for someone to get help, but unfortunately, it was too late for Takeoff. Investigators are working to determine what led up to the event. Sadly, this isn't the first time the Migos have had an issue over dice games. Sadly, this time around, life was lost. Back in 2020, Migos rapper Offset and Lil Baby's 4PF goons got into a fight over dice. The 4PF 
Five goons beat Offset so badly that they even stripped him naked. Offset and 4BF rapper 42 Doug played a game of rolling dice in the studio and Offset lost. Offset lost over $50,000 over the game and proceeded to ask 42 Doug to give him his money back, but he refused and replied to Offset saying, no, I don't know you like that. The argument escalated and 4PF members began attacking Offset and beating him up. Thanks to Quality Control CEO Pierre P. Thomas, Offset didn't lose his life that day. He drove to the parking lot where the brawl was happening and put Offset in his vehicle before driving away from the scene. Reaction to Takeoff Demise Shortly after the news of Takeoff's tragic demise was announced, several celebrities took to social media to share their grief and tributes over the loss of the young and talented rapper. Rapper designer had one of the most emotional responses to Takeoff's passing as he broke down on Instagram Live. I can't call Quay. I can't call Offset. I can't call none of these. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. I can't live like this no more. The band of rappers head through tears before posting a slide on his Instagram story that read, I'm done with rap, with a peace sign and prayer hands emoji. Ja Rule, who made a reference to the hit of other rappers like Pop Smoke and Nipsey Hussle, tweeted, RP Takeoff, this has to stop. Sending love to friends and family. Rapper Ugly God wrote via Twitter, Do y'all realize these changed the whole cadence of rap when they came out? RP Takeoff, this man has been staying out of the way, keeping it minimal, and minding his own business since the beginning. If that's not enough to be left alone, then I don't know. Rapper and singer Jarquees shared a photo of himself in takeoff at the airport, and he wrote in the caption, The devil is working, but we know God ain't sleep. Rest in paradise, my brother. At YRN takeoff, this ain't believable. Love you forever, for Migo family, keep your head up. Actress Tiana Taylor also shared her sympathies via Instagram. With a picture of herself in the Migos group, Tiana wrote, Please tell me this is just a bad dream, please. I don't want to believe this, little bro, please. Rapper Rich the Kid also shared his condolences via Instagram as he wrote, Say I lost more than a brother. A twin, a best friend. My thing, I don't want to believe it, I can't. The most humble person I know. We just share shoes and clothes because we made it with no problem. Miss you already. You didn't deserve that. I can't stop crying. I love you so much, bro, forever. The future of the Migos. Many fans have sympathized with the Migos as a group over the loss of Takeoff, with the news of their breakup hitting the media this year, and the release of Quavo and Takeoff's debut album, only built for Infinity Links, under the rap duo Unkin Few. Fans can't help but ask what happens now for Quavo and Offset. Earlier this year, there were rumors about the Migos calling it quits. These rumors were followed by actions by Cardi and Offset unfollowing both Takeoff and Quavo on Instagram. But at the time, they were mere rumors. The second wave of rumors hit the media when Quavo and Takeoff both shared a throwback picture of themselves as kids. In the picture, Quavo and his nephew Takeoff were dressed in huge graphic t-shirts, baseball caps, and jewelry. They however did a remake of the picture and captioned it a few. It was a hint at their new rap name as a duo by June 2022. The rumors began to look more true after their Governor's Ball performance, and Quavo and Takeoff released their new album under the name Unconfew. The announcement of their album came after Offset performed his solo records, Code and 54321, at the Tonight Show on September 6, 2022. Quavo and Takeoff made their debut as Unkin Few and the Murder Beats producer Banger Hotel Lobby. By October 7th, they released their first album, only built for Infinity Links. Quavo and Takeoff addressed the breakup with the Migos and the status of the Unkin Few duo. I just feel like we want to see our career as a duo, Quavo said, because we came from a loyal family. We're supposed to stick together. But sometimes, when it doesn't work out, it ain't meant to be. We just stand on loyalty. We stand on real deal loyalty. Quavo continued. I just feel like we want to see our career as a duo, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because, you know, we just came from a loyal family, you know what I'm saying? Shit that's supposed to stick together. And, you know, sometimes when it don't work out, it ain't it ain't meant to be, you know, so. We, we always family now. Yeah. Ain't nothing gonna change, so. So we just stand on loyalty, you know what I mean? We stand on real deal, real deal loyalty. Quavo went on to say in the interview that they didn't go apart because they were no longer good for each other, but simply because there was a fight between all three of them. This ain't got nothing to do with no label, no paperwork, no QC, no nothing. It's something to do with the three brothers. It is what it is. Right now, we are going to be the duo to time tell. And this ain't got nothing to do with no label, no paperwork, no QC, no nothing. This got something to do with the three brothers. Yeah, that is what it is. Right now, we going to be the duo. Tell, tell. Although Offset never spoke about his own side of the story, but why he left the group, his wife Cardi B mentioned on Instagram that he would be telling his story through the songs on his upcoming album. She said, The rumor will be addressed on Offset's album. Stay tuned. <laughs> Although they had gone their separate ways before this tragic incident, Takeoff, who never unfollowed Offset on Instagram, was hopeful that they were going to work things out and probably perform together again as brothers. On October 20th, 2022, Quavo and Takeoff had an interview with Nori. If they were asked, 
if they would participate in the versus hits battle. Name who y'all think can versus with us? Quavo asked. Can't do OGs. We're not gonna bother no OGs. Nori went on to ask if the hypothetical versus battle would feature Offset in the equation. We, we can't do Amigos reunion for one versus? Says Nori. No, that's not gonna happen? If that check's right, take off responds.